Hello tennis fans and welcome back to The Slice. I'm about to tell you why Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal are going to meet in the final of the Rogers Cup in Montreal in about five or six days. So as most of you should know, there's a lot of players out right now with injury and this is gonna really help Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer get to the final. Djokovic, Murray, and Vavrinka are not playing in this year's tournament, giving Roger and Rafa an easier route to the final, obviously. So that's the first reason that I think they're going to meet in the final, is because they're not going to have to play uh, these other huge players. So, but there is some problems that are definitely going to be presenting themselves in each of their draws. So I'll start with Federer. Uh, he can meet team, Dominic Team in the semifinals, and this could be a problem for him because Roger Federer actually has a losing record to Dominic Team. Team has won two out of the, uh, the three meetings they've had, and all of those meetings were last year in 2016. Um, but clearly, Federer wasn't playing his best then um, because he t took the rest of the 2016 season off due to injury. But Team is still obviously an amazing player and is definitely dangerous with the power that he brings to the table. So Federer could have a problem there. Now, for Nadal. With Nadal, speed kills. All, most of his upsets in his career have come from big hitters, and there's definitely a lot of those in his half of the draw. So the first player he could play is Juan Martín del Potro, who I like to call is the uh, Argentinian, Argentinian grenade, uh, because he can just blow open a draw at any point, uh, but he's very inconsistent, and so we'll see what happens. Even if they do match up, del Potro might lose before, and Nadal might lose before, but probably not. Uh, next up would be Rayonich. So they could play Ranoch, Zverev, Kyrgios, or Tsonga. So all those players present a big problem to Nadal because they have lots of power. And on these fast, hard courts, um, and if they have a really good match, like I've said before, big hitters, if they have a good match, they pose a problem for anyone on any given day. So that could be a problem for Nadal. Um, but I do think he's going to play well, and he's going to get through any of his opponents. I say this because Roger and Rafa have both had about three weeks off to rest, recoup, and prepare for the American hard court summer since Wimbledon. Um, and I'm assuming that they've just been back in Mallorca and back in Switzerland doing their thing, doing their magic mojo that gets them back to the top of their game. And I think they're just going to crush it in Montreal and finally give the Canadian fans, ten Canadian tennis fans, something to cheer about because our tennis players have been nowhere in sight lately. So Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer are going to meet in the final of the Rogers Cup. But I'm not going to do a prediction yet because that'd be foolish and I want to see how they play during the week um, and how their matches go. And then I'll put a video out later in the week saying who's going to win. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, folks. This is The Slice. This is where I do tennis reviews, commentary, and predictions. So keep it locked here. Subscribe down below and your dreams will be fulfilled.